congenital diaphragmatic hernia. So, congenital diaphragmatic hernia is a very important topic for part 1, part 2 and even if the clinical. Why? Because uh, very surprisingly the incidence rate of CDH in UK is high. What happens here? The diaphragm has a defect of any of the part. Mostly this is occurring on the left side because in the right side there is liver. So, even if there is a defect the intestinal contact cannot go upward. Mostly this diaphragmatic hernia occurring through the left side. So, in the question you will see that they will give you an x-ray in case of part 2 or they will say that in the left zone, left zone there is absent breath sound. Okay. So, as this is very important and this is a congenital defect of diaphragm. So, this defect cannot be uh, cured by a medicine. So, this is a surgical case always there will be a surgical referral. Okay. So, CTH is a congenital defect in the diaphragm resulting in the herniation of the abdominal content into the thoracic cavity. I do not know if you ever have seen the x-ray of a CDH child, all the bowel loops will be in the chest. In the x-ray it is very clear and in the part 2 exam you will always get a question from CDH uh, having the x-ray, it is very important for part 2. Associated with a high risk of mortality and morbidity, definitely the part the abdominal content is coming, they are suppressing the lung. So, there will be severe respiratory distress and there will be, there will be persistent pulmonary hypertension. So, a combination of pulmonary hypoplasia and abnormal morphology of pulmonary vasculature leads to severe respiratory insufficiency and increased risk of developing persistent pulmonary hypertension. Antenatal diagnosis can be possible. If it is diagnosed antenatally, what will we do? We will plan the delivery at regional neonatal intensive care unit. Fetal medicine team, pediatric surgeon to provide antenatal counseling. See, whenever antenatally a mother is being diagnosed that her child is having this problem, previously the counseling will be done in presence of pediatric surgeon and fetal medicine team we have to reassure the mother. Probably this has been diagnosed uh, in a later stage. In that time, the termination of pregnancy or um, abortion is not possible. The child will come to the world. Definitely, we will counsel with them and the pediatric surgeon will assure them that what are the treatment options later on you can have for your child. Neonatal team to meet the parents before delivery. Their system is very nicely planned. If a mother and parent uh, meet with the neonatal team before the birth, they will have a reassurance, they will have a faith on you that okay, these, these are the doctors that are going to treat my child. If in, in our country what happens after the birth, we got a surprise that child is having this problem. This is a very stressful time. So, this preparation, this mental preparation they give to each parents. If Even if it is normal, they do lots of counseling. Even if it is abnormal, you see how who are involved, medic, me, uh, fetal medicine team, pediatric surgeon, neonatal team, okay, neonatal consultant, middle grade post graduation doctor and NICO nurse to attend the delivery. All of them will be present during the delivery. If the diagnosis is done postnatal, in some babies the lesion develops later in gestation. These babies tend to have a better prognosis. Postnatal presentation can be with the clinical features ranging from inability to resuscitate baby at birth to incidental finding on chest x-ray. One thing, if you know that this child is having congenital diaphragmatic hernia after birth probably they are having some features of irregular breathing. You cannot give uh, back mass ventilation this to this child. This is completely contraindicated. So, that is why all of them are present and all of them should know this is a special delivery. In case diagnosed postnatally, there may be early respiratory distress in association with the scaphoid abdomen and heart sound shifted usually to the right. Mass inflation will often cause deterioration as air is delivered into the herniated gut resulting in cardiorespiratory embarrassment. Where is the investigation? Pre and postnatal saturation, chest and abdominal x-ray, ABG and echo. Why ABG? We will get to know about the pulmonary hypertension. Eco. Immediate management and delivery. Uh, here a lot of things are written. These are not coming most often. Uh, the important things I can tell you that we will do intubation first if those are antenatally diagnosed and uh, the largest size will be used. 
in case of this child. Confirm the tube position. Uh, do not give back mass ventilation. We will introduce the ear in the GI tract as I told you before. We have to examine the baby for other associated abnormality like there is some congenital problem or some syndrome, syndromes that is associated with CDH. Uh, most of them they have a cardiac issue, they might have trisomy 18 or 21, urogenital problem or musculoskeletal problem, this should be assessed. Management in neonatal units. Undertake the management promptly. Babies with CDH fare better with minimal handling, handle baby as little as gentle as possible. Baby weight should be measured, baby will kept in sedation by giving morphine 20 microgram per kg per hour. In their country, morphine is a very, uh, very used drug, it's not very uncommon in their country. They are using morphine with a specific measurement, with all the precautions. This morphine have some sedation effects, have some uh, analgesic effect. This morphine are soothing those babies. They just want the child not to get distressed. Already she is having lots of problem, okay? So uh, do not, uh, if you in the option you see morphine and you think, oh, an little child, we will give morphine. No, they are giving. So never look after the morphine they do it they use morphine drug in our country we cannot even imagine giving morphine but in their country they do it because they have all the facilities if a morphine causing any problem they have all the things are kept ready outside the baby cot okay so these are the uh, abgs are written this is these are not so important if you want to study you can study in MRCPCH study what I felt in last two years that even if you pass or you fail or later on you give up you don't want to do this study you will have a lot of knowledge this knowledge will help you in the long run because MRCPCH uh, is a exam for flourishing your knowledge you will have you will be very uh, benefited by this you see surfactant will not recom routinely recommended why because the problem is not the lung, the problem is the defect of the diaphragm. If you give surfactant, there will be no space to dilate the alveoli. Okay. Uh, look for the evidence of PPHN. If it is, then try. This child mostly will be on ventilator and uh, high frequency oscillatory ventilator guideline. You don't need to study this, just, uh, just know that CDA child will be in the ventilator management of PPHN. Uh, I don't want you guys to study a lot about PPHN. Just remember for the PPHN, the treatment options are nitric oxide and the second option is magnesium sulfate. Initiate the trial of nitric oxide and then magnesium sulfate. The doses are not necessary. Okay? General support is important. The fluid restrict to 60 ml per kg per day. Definitely the gut is compromised, so we will give less amount. Keep large bore NG tube on free drainage and regular aspiration, nothing by mouth. Buccal colostrum can be given if available. Commons parenteral nutrition, send blood culture and compens first line antibiotics, send clotting screen and correct by abnormality. Correct hypocalcemia. If a child is kept nothing per mouth, this child might have hypocalcemia after two to three days. Uh, if antenatal diagnosis, you uh, diagnosis of the cardiac lesion, you can start prostaglandin. As I told you before, prostaglandin is needed for some congenital problems. Cross match blood and do the other test. Actually, here we are waiting for the surgery. That's why we are giving some supportive treatment. Okay. Communication with the specialist team, and later on we will send the child for surgery.